Hey Gemini, welcome to another WLC Weekly Love Connections reading. This will be for those of you who are wanting to get insights with regards to your love connections. To all my subscribers, thank you for stopping by once again and thank you for your continued support and for continuing to watch my videos. Um, I love having you here and um, if you need more information about my personal readings and everything else about this channel, my tarot decks, the setup and all that, all the um, relevant information are in the description box below. Also, if you want to keep in touch with me or if you have any inquiries, you can go ahead and um, check out my website, nomadsoulwarrior.com. Okay, so Gemini, let's see, what do we have for Gemini in love? What do we have for Gemini in love? What do we have for Gemini in love? Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and Jupiter. In love. <laughs> the Empress. Eight of Coins. Death. The King of Wands, the Ace of Coins, the Emperor. Wow, Gemini. Seven of Coins, the Knight of Wands, <laughs> and the Page of Swords. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Ace of Wands. Underneath that, we have, okay, I gotta open this up. We have the Five of Cups, the Queen of Cups, and the Six of Cups. And yet, we also have the Knight of Swords. <laughs> Underneath that is the Nine of Cups. Okay, so what is lacking here, actually, in this connection is more of um, someone... Someone here, again, pick your side, okay? This is a Love Connections reading, so I'll be reading two sides here. Pick your side. Um, what's lacking here is for someone to explicitly say what they want in this connection. Otherwise, we would still be going through the process of being stringent, being straightforward, you know, trying to put up that facade that we are strong, we are... We are okay, we can communicate well, very diplomatic and all that towards one another. And yet, there's that big elephant in the room. That big elephant saying that, I want you, I want to be with you, we can work this out. What are we waiting for? <laughs> because Gemini, with you, I feel that, I feel that, whether you know it or not, or whether you say yes to that or not, I feel that you have been thinking about this individual that you have dealt with. You miss this person. You felt a very deep connection with this someone, with this person. That has actually brought you a lot of awareness in terms of how you are in a connection. Yeah, You've tried to fit in, in different angles here. Um, you work this connection out to the best of your ability to how you see things can be worked out you built uh, some sort of you, you showed this person that you are in it to win it you are willing to build with them you are willing to um, work things out if they have problems you would try to resolve it for them even or try to just help them out and be be part of this person's life, you know, make, make that connection thrive. The connection that you felt with this person is not a very, um, shall we say, uh, superficial. You felt that deep connection with someone, um, perhaps even the first time you meet, it could be someone that you feel very familiar with on the soul level. If you believe on, you know, that past life connection, it feels like that when you met this person. And with that, I feel that you were open to nurture this connection, shower them with your love and um, everything else that comes with it. 
because you were up to building that structure with this person with all your might yeah you were fully invested but the thing here is that i feel there was there's an ending yeah an ending here has occurred for whatever reason however that transpired but coming into this reading i do feel that things have um, literally has gone to a close and now this is more of um, turning turning to the next page what's next what's next yeah and um, I feel that for this connection actually there is a new opportunity to start something off here to start it off once again um, for a commitment, uh, I mean for a relationship, there is a potential here to to start a new budding relationship for the both of you. Something that you would both be happy having. Yeah? There is that potential here. But the thing is, due to the fact that things have ended, I feel um, Gemini, you may have gotten to a point of you're just too disappointed that things have ended. Things did not transpire the, the way you want it to be, especially if you really put a lot of effort into this to make it work. But apparently, you know, things, I don't know, something happened in the past that brought to this ending. It could be that you were disappointed with how the person reacted or how the person dealt with you that resulted to that ending. Yeah? Yeah. There could be that lack of proper communication between the two of you or perhaps this person tends to just tell you exactly what you need to hear or you want to hear, however that plays out. And somebody who may not be very open in terms of their... Somebody who is not ready to really fully open up to you and therefore that could lead to a lot of misunderstandings. Um, it could even lead to you assuming some stuff because you don't get the exact picture of what this person is trying to paint for you in this connection. And the way I see it here is that you are pretty disappointed. Mm -hmm. You're disappointed. Although you still want, you still want this person. Perhaps you find this person very alluring, very charming, very attractive. And that is keeping this person's um, space, you know them being charming them being interesting got them a free rental space in your brain <laughs> something that is pretty hard for you to let go for now yeah you also see this person as someone who you know if they want something they would definitely say it or go for it but the fact that in this connection after an ending if this person did not show you that um, they were still willing to pursue you that kind of make that that kind of throws you off you know um, you know that they are capable of pushing things forward or pursuing things that they want if they want it and then after an ending this person did not truly show you that they are willing to get you back or they are willing to have this connection rebuilt once again and that's disappointing on your side yeah that's that's pretty disappointing mm -hmm. and i feel that you probably have gone cold to this person with that disappointment even though you want a new beginning with them you want you still want to carry on you still want to times and, and time and time again you would find yourself wanting to call this person but nevertheless, I feel that you are trying to focus yourself to something else. Perhaps your job, if you are doing some new stuff um, that could help yourself grow for your personal development, as well as if you are putting up new business, new job and all that, I feel that you are more focused on those things right now rather than into this connection. Mm -hmm. Rather than into this connection. Although, you still have hearts for this person, I feel. And love. You still love this person. But it's more like, you're not, you're not really, you're disappointed. Yeah? And um, you're just making the most of your time here. 
focusing on things that matters, focusing on things that, that are tangible to you for now. Yeah? And, um, well, with regards to your person, I do see that um, this is someone who... Yeah, like I said, someone who is charming and someone who may be out and about. Okay, out and about. And at the same time, this is someone to who truly has not really turned their back away from you. This is someone who may be stalking you or checking you out online. Um, if they are not talking to you, definitely they're getting some information about you from other sources, however that plays out with them. Yeah. This is someone who is still interested. But the thing is, um, it feels like, it feels like this person is having difficulty in transforming this ending into something um, that of a, of a new start. Or they're having difficulty as to how to go about getting back with you you know getting back together they want it they want to be with you they're still interested but there is some sort of difficulty in this person in terms of what can they do to bring you back to bring this connection back alive it could be that they were this connection was filled with drama in the past and that led to an ending and perhaps this person could feel that you are not interested to uh, listen or hear their drama in life and um or that you may only be interested to be to have fun with them to have you know to take things light and easy that could be it too to have more passion and all that rather than dealing with the reality of things Or there's also a tendency here for this person to think that you just don't want to be bothered by by drama. But who does? Who, who does? Yeah, we don't like dr more drama in life. But it's more like perhaps this person has some things, some issues that um, you know, it comes in a package with them if you want them in a connection, and therefore um, they don't really know how to go about moving things forward with you because those drama, the baggage that they have is part of them. Th those are part of, of this person's being. And therefore, if you want them, it comes with it. It comes with them, basically. And in as much as they are still interested, honestly, this person still is willing to, to work things out with you big time. But the thing is, how are they going to do that? I feel there is also a bit of difference in terms of your, of perhaps the level of stability that you have um, built for your individual self. You may be more stable in terms of fin on your finances, on your living conditions. And I feel that you're dealing with someone who is still um, trying to build themselves up, trying to be seen in, by the outside world. Somebody who could be an artist who is still trying to climb the entertainment ladder or something. And that sort of thing. Yeah, there's that um, a difference in, in the way I see it. I hope that makes sense for you. Um, but whatever that is, I feel that there is a bit of difference in, in the way you look at things, the way you perceive things to be. Yeah? But in terms of the overall connection, I do see that there is a potential here to really start something off. And believe it or not, I feel that in this connection, if you happen to find that common ground for both of you to really work things out here from that ending and transform it into a new beginning, there is that really great potential for both of you to be happy, to be in a loving relationship, something that you would both enjoy, something that you would both feel like you both have had your wish fulfilled in this connection. Because love is here. Attraction is here. It seems like you are also connecting mentally here. And you both have th the same goals in life. Self-improvement, I do see that. You can both be working out together 
or if not, if you are in different performing arts or something like that, you both thrive in your own individual. You might be for, you know, exclusive gym. Well, this person is in the open park ex exercise or something like that. You know, you have your individual um, ways in improving yourself. And I do see, really, if you can work this out, if you can work this out, this is something that is really worth having. A great potential for a relationship where both of you can be both abundant physically, emotionally, as well as um, financially. As a couple, as a par um, in a partnership. Romantic partnership, I feel. But you need to... You need to find a common ground here on how to transform this ending and get a breakthrough from this. Let me see. Tell us more about this connection. This could be just a waiting phase for the both of you to see when is the right time to take some actions. You kind of expecting this person to make some actions towards you. I feel. I do feel too that they would, but possibly not this week because this person is still trying to gauge what's the best way to do. Yeah, it's this team. Like I said, yeah, very well. It's a distinct partnership. Believe it or not, I think this could even be a past life relationship, like I said. It was, that was the very first um, energy I get for you. This could be a past life relationship that you feel, you know, it's meant for you, yada, yada, yada. And with that feeling, you know that, you know, both of you are distinct for one another. You may be coming from different, you know, you may have different lifestyles, different status in life. But um, these two souls getting together actually is meant to happen yeah and I feel that you are both protectors of one another in this lifetime so you protect them they protect you in 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 at the, in the soul level that also goes to say that whatever um, growth you need to undergo or whatever learnings you need to undergo in this life for your soul's path, I feel that this person or you, whichever you are here, whichever side you're in here, both of you are actually the, the partner that is destined to be with each other, you know. And you can both work towards your soul path hand in hand and helping each other through, you know. This is a distinct connection, honestly. Yeah? The wonders of creation. You could even wonder why. Amongst all people, you, Gemini, may be connecting with tons of people. You have a very social, big, you know, big social network. And yet you found this person to be with you. And they are also wondering why amongst all your networks you worked things out with them when you met. Stepping into power, you are strong beyond measure. And this is also very telling that there could be um, some significant variance or differences in your lifestyle and yet um, you can easily actually turn your back from this connection, Gemini. But it feels like you took the harder route because you believe that this connection is real. Back then. Yeah? You believe that it, this connection was worth investing until you got disappointed. And now, this could be it. Um, since this is a distinct connection, I do believe and I do feel that you will find each other back in each other's lives once again in this connection perhaps this year and i feel that you would find yourself stepping into power again yeah even though you feel like 
you're not anymore willing to go or to undergo this once again, another, you know, another route with this person. But I feel you will find yourself in that situation once again. And you can still make it well. You are strong beyond measure. You still have that. The heart is not too tired to love again. You know, the body is not too tired to put an effort into a connection that is worth having. Yeah, that's, that's, that's it for that card. All right. Let me know how this resonates with you. I'm pretty excited. It's the first type of reading. I, I feel that it's more, it's very past life connection reading. There are still so many unsaid things between us. Would you give me the chance to make things right between us? You see? This person, I feel, is going to think things through. Because as of the moment, they don't exactly know what to do here. What to do with you. What to do with this connection. But it's boiling in this person's mind that um, they want to make things right here. Why? That's the wonder of creation. You don't question that. All you know, all you might feel here is that this is distinct. And if it is meant to be, it shall be. Wow. Gemini. I'm in a much better headspace now. Beautiful. So continue being in that space, okay? And even better. So that... <laughs> I feel that your person is beginning to realize slowly but surely to find some ways on how to transform this ending. So just sit back and relax for now. Continue doing what you, you do best with wherever you are at right now. And keep that communication channel open. And um, I'm going to leave it at that and let me know how this resonates with you. It's, it's pretty amazing. I like this reading for you. And um, if you like it too, give me a thumbs up. And um, if you haven't subscribed, do subscribe and click on the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever I go live as well as um, when I post videos. If this doesn't resonate, check out my other readings for your other signs, yeah? That could also give you more insights. And um, if you're available every Mondays at um, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time, join me um, as I go live for the Gypsy Monday Nights Tarot. Okay? I'll be reading for all signs. The topic for that day will be announced on that day, every Mondays. Okay? But it's going to be for all signs reading live. All right? I hope this helps as intended. Um, if this is where we part ways, thank you for stopping by.